there, I'm here with Ashley Horton from The Cut Shop, and Ashley is known for creating really cool and unique cut files. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Julie, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. So you brought some gorgeous pages. Will you tell us a little bit about them? Yes, um, I have a couple of different ways to use the same cut file. Um, this one is using the positive shapes to create a look on your page. This one is using the same cut file, but using the negative and adding paint behind it. And this one uses the same technique where you use the negative and positive shape and just cut your positive shape and add it back into the template. I love that you're finding all sorts of different ways to use the same cut file. Yeah, That's there's a really lot of cool. different ways that you can use it with different materials and just painting and different techniques like that. Okay, so you promised me it's easy. So yes, it's very easy. I can know that this is the cut file mm -hmm. that we're going to be working yes. with. And mm -hmm. so we went ahead and we scanned this into the machine yes. and resized it uh -huh. so that it was a little larger. Yeah, we wanted it a little larger. And then I'm just going to cut this out of white cardstock. Now, is there any kind of cardstock that's best to use to use something heavy? I, I like know to we're use using something it. heavy for this technique because we're going to be using using a little bit of mixed media um, with some watercolor crayons and also some modeling paste. Okay, so, so just a heavier cardstock, yeah, but it doesn't need to be watercolor paper necessarily. It doesn't need to be watercolor paper, no. Just a white cardstock, or well, you could use a colored cardstock too if you have some scrap cardstock that you don't really use for anything anymore and you wanna use that, that works perfectly too. And so when we start out, we have our cut file here already on this mat and we actually wanna work with it on the mat for the technique that we're gonna use. You Why? Don't, because we are going to be adding the watercolor crayons and so we want to be able to color each one of these rows with a different color. Okay, and just because I'm sure this is hard to see, yes. this is actually cut out <laughs> yes, already. Yes, it is cut but out we're already. we're keeping it on the sticky yes, mat. Yes, because we're gonna use this outside edge as our template when we add it over our background paper, and then that way we'll know where to place our hearts to get them in that perfect round shape once we get to that. So we're gonna start out with our watercolor crayons here while that's cutting, and so we just wanna take off our lid, and it doesn't matter what you do, you can just kind of be messy here. This is that's one of my those, favorite yes. thing ever, it does not matter. <laughs> You this do. is one of those projects where you just get messy and you don't really have to think about it and it doesn't matter what the outside of our paper looks like because we're not going to use this negative part so we just want to color those and if you want to color you can do a color on those Ooh, and add that yeah I like that i, I get know. to do a color <laughs> okay so, so now here's my question when you're putting together your cut files mm -hmm. are you thinking of a specific project or are you um sometimes i fun? do and then other times i just come up with a design and think oh i need to get that you know and get that designed and mm -hmm. use it later so um it just depends Thank if i you. am sitting down to work on a specific project then i will think of a cut file maybe that i want to use and create it for that so now, I'm missing huge portions here, Ashley. Is that going to be okay? Because look how badly yes, I'm coloring Yes, because it. we're going to use our finger, our good old finger. Yeah. We don't even need a special tool for this. So what we want to do is just kind of smear that. And it's not going to matter even if we kind of go over onto the top of the other colors because we want it to be kind of a fun, like artsy, messy kind of look. So you're just getting it spread out there on your heart. So you're just blending and yeah. blending and blending. Now, just blending your you've color. obviously picked all warm colors yes. that go mm -hmm. together. Yes. And that's a good tip because if you were yeah. mixing too many colors, it might be a little yeah. bit jarring. And, um, yeah, and I like to sometimes when I do this with a lot of color to use a black and white photo because that way the colors that you use on your paper, they don't contrast with the colors in your photo. If you have a color photo and then pull colors mm -hmm. for like if you wanted to use the watercolor crayons, mm -hmm. you could pull those that have that color from your photo in it. Mm -hmm. And so use the colors to match. Okay. Now, even though these are watercolor crayons, we're not using water with them. We're not using fine. water, no, because you could, if you wanted to, it would give you a different look, like maybe a softer, more watercolor look. Mm -hmm. um, we're just using our finger just to get that more saturated color um, with the watercolor crayons here. Okay, and once on you've our blended everything, yes. I know we have the next one ready. It's going to look it like looks this. Just like yes, this. Yes, you're going to have cool. like a pretty rainbow kind of effect there going on. And so now our next step that we want to do is we're going to use a stencil. And we're gonna add some of the modeling paste, and I like to call mm -hmm. this my little squeegee. It's a good thing. <laughs> yes, so we're gonna add some of this. Just, um, I use a spatula mm -hmm. and just take it right out and kind of just put it right across there because you want it on that edge so that you can add it here. Now there are so many different products you can use for this. There's yes. modeling paste, modeling there's paste. spackle, yes. there's you know things from the hardware Gessos, store, yes. gesso, <laughs> like so many really cool yes. products. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you just want to make sure you fill in all of your little spots there. Mm -hmm. And I like to go ahead and take the excess off on this because you don't want it to be really high. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times you can leave it where it's more textured like that. Now I noticed that you've chosen a stencil with a very small design. Yes. Is there mm -hmm. a reason for that? Could you use a stencil that had a really 
really large design. You would probably want to stick with one that has a smaller design just because of the way you're using the cut file um, with the smaller heart Meaning size. Meaning we're going to pull up these tiny little yes. hearts mm -hmm. and if there was a big design you it wouldn't, wouldn't really work as see, well. Yeah, it wouldn't keep the continuity of what the design was on the stencil. I so. see. Okay, so now that's going to take a little while to dry, yes. obviously, And then right? you would just want to, yeah, get your, um, get your squeegee mm -hmm. with a little more and then and add cover it. the yes, whole thing. And, and one of the things I like so much about molding paste is you can put that excess right back into yes, the jar you so just you're put not it back wasting in and save it. anything. Yes, okay. you're not wasting. Yes. I, I will say, do you? how do you clean your stencil once um, it has all this on I it? I either clean it with like a wipe, a wet mm -hmm. wipe, or I'll just take it to the to the bathroom and rinse it with water. Either way is fine. It'll clean really easily. Those are those are pretty much foolproof. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So yes, this okay. is what it looks like This is our dry. completed once our modeling paste is dry. So we have everything ready, we have our template ready, and what we want to do, and we cross our fingers that everything comes off the way it's supposed to. <laughs> and you may have some of your heart stick just because you are using that medium. Mm -hmm. So you just want to go through and just make sure that you keep those pressed down. And if some of them come up, it's okay because you can just go back and add them mm -hmm. in. So we're just going to mm -hmm. pull that off. So you know what? While you're pulling that off, I'm actually, I know we would leave this all together, but yes. I just want to show people okay. the cut file. So I'm going to pull on this a little bit, get okay. it right off that mat. Yes. And we want to make sure go. our hearts stay in place here. Exactly. And now you can see, this is what like the plain template would look like, yes. as opposed to you've got this gorgeous message. Yes. Template. We've got our rainbow colors going mm -hmm. on here. So now what we want to do is we want to add our template over our background paper that we're going to use. And then you just want to take your heart shapes that you have, that you've colored with the watercolor crayons and the molding, and molding paste, paste and done yes. all that work yes and then we want to take each one of those off and we're just going to go back in we want to add adhesive first because we want them to actually stick so we're going to do that and so we're just going to place them in that template area there right and now it so. looks like our paper's not lined up but actually this is because we've got a finished yes, one under we actually here have a finished, yes. that's there too so mm -hmm. you're just going to go ahead and you're going to keep gluing yes. and putting down and you like to use a dry adhesive I'm i like assuming. to use a dry adhesive yes and i don't need a lot because once i get these on here and take the template off I'm going to go back in and stitch each one of those. Ah, see, that's so yes. key, which yeah. is that's a great reason to not put a lot of adhesive on because yes. you don't want to gunk up your stitching needle. And you're needle. saving adhesive also. Exactly. Yes. And if you look at the one that I have here, I can see those stitch lines all yes. down here. That's really making sure everything is totally secure. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you're like me, then I'm sure your sewing machine has been through a lot. Oh, yes, yes. It stitches through a lot of pages. So. Uh -huh, <laughs> which is really cool. So, again, yes. if we look back at your finished pieces, we'll see how beautifully it all arranges. Yes. And you're pulling that off now. Yes. And this is what it's so going to look like. So you have them right in place. Yes. Which is perfect.